when somebody gets a video EEG study, it is most often because we want to be able to capture the seizure itself. We will be able to go back and look to see exactly what your child is doing on video and correlate that at that moment in time with exactly what their brain waves are doing. Step number one is we just wanna be sure that the spell that they're having is actually a seizure. On the day of the study, they will meet with a technologist who connect them to the EEG, as well as one of the nurse practitioners who will go over what exactly is happening with the families, confirm seizures or event types, go over medications, and create a tailored seizure action plan for everybody who's here overnight. So specific timelines as to at what point in time a rescue medication should be given, as well as what that specific rescue medication should be. Mainly we set up EEGs, electroencephalograms, which measure voltage change throughout the brain. We do that with a setup of 23 leads. Once we get those all into place, we put on a couple of muscle electrodes to measure any kind of arm movement, as well as EKGs to make sure that we're not getting any kind of heart uh, artifact with the test. Electrical signals sent by the heart can actually interfere with our test a little bit. So we'll be monitoring to make sure that there's any kind of abnormal activity. If there is, we'll let the doctors know. If the kids start seizing, we have to go into the room and make sure that we can do our response testing. Those response tests include memory tests, following different commands, things like that all to kind of gauge where the brain is being affected and how severely it's being affected. Setting up the test usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour. That's usually the time where we take to kind of get to know the patient a little bit better, you know, find out uh, when their last seizure was, what kind of things are we expecting when they have their seizure, how likely they are to have a seizure. These things really play an important part in making sure that the doctors have exactly what they need. When you have 23 leads going on with a bunch of wires, it's a lot for a kid to take in. And so one of my favorite things to do is to just talk with the kids. If a kid's into comic books, I'll talk to them about comic books. If they want to talk about video games, I'll talk about video games. Asking them questions, you know, what do you like better, waffles or pancakes? I feel like these are small things, but they end up making the child feel much more comfortable. We make sure that their test is pain-free and as smooth as possible as so we can make it for them. 